Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we got a brand new uh, vehicle on the channel type of thing. So it's a 2005 Dodge Ram 2500 with the Hemi in it. And she needs a lot of work, I'll tell you that. Got it for a good deal, got it from an a-hole of a guy. Uh, it was a plow truck, so that means, you know, it was out there in all the, the snowstorms. So it was getting hit with all that road salt and whatnot. So it is a little crusty critter. Uh, there are uh, the typical Dodge rot, you know, the rockers, the the uh, wheel wells and whatnot, you know, the good old um, Dodge rot. But so since it was a plow truck and the guy never did any work to it, I'm sure he did the typical some stuff when it wore, wore out, but the whole front end is shot. So we got a couple videos coming up. Um, we're going to be doing, we're going to be pretty much revamping this whole truck uh, minus the body for now. So I got brand new... Uh, bearings, uh, it's a whole hub assembly, uh, four bolts and it comes off and bolts on with the ABS. We got rotors all the way around, uh, we got pads all the way around, we're going to do a typical tune up. We got our plugs, we got oil, we got an air filter and then we're going to, surprisingly the transmission is just really good and these Dodges, especially the third gens, it's complete crap. So when I had a second gen, a blue one, uh, it, it shifted really rough, especially after doing a burnout in it. So that, that one, that typically, that didn't do too well. Um, never did a brown again in that and I sold that. So we got the oil, we got transmission fluid filter, the plugs, the air box filter, a couple of the things, things like the top, uh, dome light up top. Um, it's got a light out, license plate light out. Um, surprisingly, the tires are pretty good. AC doesn't work, we're gonna have to troubleshoot that later on down the road, but you know, it's fall, winter's coming, so that's, uh, put off another thing is the dipstick here uh, that snapped off that broke so you can tell that he did his typical you know maintenance checks to see if the oil was you know current and whatnot uh, and eventually we'll be doing the coolant we'll be doing the thermostat and um i think that's it i will blew the brakes because i think the rotors are warped or whatnot because when i was driving at home there's no brakes but besides that there was a really shake when it came to uh braking so hopefully it's nothing to do with the ABS system. There's no light on, so I don't think it's that unless the, the bulb for that burnt out. Um, hopefully that's not the issue because that could be that could be it, and uh, that's why he sold it because it needed a lot, a lot of work. But so we're gonna get to this. Uh, there's gonna be a couple different videos, so stay tuned for that. Got a neighbor that likes to sing. I don't. Uh, okay. Oh, and these mirrors. This thing, this thing wasn't even open. We had to take it off. It was completely uh, rotted. There was. Whole bunch of salt and, and sand and fertilizer in there. I don't, I don't know what happened. That maybe got sprayed with one of the, the uh, the buckets that go in the bed, and then the toolbox. There's no key for that, and it won't even open because the receiver for the the key is completely solid. So, this thing is a beater. But we're gonna tune it up. We're gonna get all set, running ready, and uh, drive it. So. First video is first, we're gonna do the whole front end. Um, that's gonna be the bearings and the pads and rotors. That's gonna be another, the, the video that we're gonna do now. Stay tuned for another video for the rears uh, and typical tune up. And then we got a whole new front end assembly that's gonna go in um, next week. I'm waiting on that part to come in. So, yep. All right, so for this car we got one on the caliper, two 10 millimeters. What do you think? Should we uh, can just throw some pads on this? Yeah, we should throw some pads on this. <laughs> just do it with pads. We need more than pads. <laughs> I'm for bracket. That's a big one. That one. Yep, first try. It's a uh, 18 millimeter. Oh crap. That's on there. Alright, finally got these uh, caliper bracket bolts off. Um, not coming out at all. I had to run down the street to get some new ones because these ones are definitely buggered up. But holy cow. Now that one. That's not even, that's going to be a pain to get out. But that's finally out. So, uh. Definitely uh, work smarter, not harder, so just turn the wheel. Um, now we're going to turn the wheel for the other side so we can get the impact and everything extension. 
that will be good. And now we're going to take the rotor off. We'll take the axle nut off with the carter pin. And the four bolts on the back where the hub is. Good thing that uh, we replaced it because, oh, good thing that we're getting a new hub in here. Because, let me see if I can get this thing in here without. Because two of the, the uh, lugs here, the studs, were completely snapped off. The guy was hiding them with the um, hub cap for kind of sly little uh, dirty sneaky little trick there but I bought a new one anyway so that doesn't even matter so now what we're gonna do is take that off looks like that will come off with it yep right, that came off pretty nice and we're gonna get to the hub bolts in the back which I think I can get the impact for this side spin it and get the impact for the other side and hopefully that's it so let's get to it like bogles, you can come on the tour bus, just please no photos. Up the ride like Somo, cause we be going off on the off nights. Cause I've been on, I've been on every single song I put my. Cause I work so hard, that it's hard to lose. I'm gonna break from your hands, watch me touch it. Nice and hot. Alright, heavy. Yeah. That's hot. Alright, now finally after, uh, holy crap, I don't know, uh, hammering. He and P Blaster impact and break a barn and use a sledgehammer on one of the wax. Finally came free. So now take off the rotor on this side as well and we're gonna take off the hub. Everybody's listening now. Oh we got nothing to when I met you in the summer. Alright, All right, so now with the hub wire, I'm going to follow all the way up right behind the fender here. Pop it out. Pull it. A little clip throughout the whole thing. All right, so we're gonna remove the hub. Alright guys, that is it. It took a multiple of everything. We had the slide hammer, we had the jaw puller, we had the hammer, the sledgehammer, the heat, the PB blaster, everything you can think of. So, uh, finally came out in the end. It took about probably three to four hours of finally just, just going to town on both sides. I was on one side, my father was on the other side. Finally got it done. The multiple to a bolt sometimes on one freaking hub. But it's finally done, so we're going to get this all set and situated tomorrow. We're going to get the junior joints pressed out, and we'll be good to go to put it all back together. We'll have new calipers, new rotors, new U-joints, new wheel bearings, and new, I don't know if I said calipers, I don't know, but pads and rotors. And we'll have stabilizer links in the front with new bushings for the sway bar. And then we'll have a new whole uh, um, cross member in it, not cross member. We'll have a whole new suspension stabilizer bar that goes from the whole, that connects from hub to, ah, from knuckle to knuckle. So that'll be all set and done. So I did not get this on video because I was trying to do it on one side to see if it would work. Then I showed it on the, the other side on the video. So I got this big, oh geez, always does this, big ass heavy duty jaw puller. So what happened is I would take it and put it on each side and have that go the middle go obviously on the axle right so i take that on each side like that so i take it on each side like that that would go on the center where obviously the axle shaft would be and that go on the outside and it, what it did was it pulled it but it pulled it right off of that so that part was still stuck on there which is what you saw in the ending part of us finishing and taking it off so left us with pretty much nothing left to bang on besides the actual 
I don't know, the hub was already out, like the, the bearing was already out, but besides the actual, like, I don't know, say holder or holster type of thing. And then coming on over here, we had, and then coming on, you can hear my flippers. And then coming on over here, we had the typical, you know, the slide hammer type of thing, rent a tool, and that didn't even work. And we rented some other thing that was way too small for a front wheel drive car, but but in the end, we prevailed, and it was a brutal, brutal couple hours, but that was all set, and that was in the past now. So now we gotta look forward to finishing and completing the front end of this truck. This will be a good work truck and a hunting truck, and can't be more excited to get this done. So, thank you for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.